The Merry is a creek and green corridor in the suburbs of Melbourne and is heavily used and greatly enjoyed by residents and cyclists. These are the last 220,000 volt overhead pylons left in Inner Melbourne. Passing over hundreds of houses and the Merry, the lines end at the dilapidated Brunswick Terminal Station, which is right next to Zone 1 residential houses, a kindergarten, a junior soccer club and a primary school. This project is really outrageous. It's so arrogant. Because they own the site, or they've purchased it from a previous owner, they think they have the right to impose this monstrosity upon the people um, who, use, who live in this, and who pass through this area. They said that they would consult with us in relation to amenity, and they said they would paint the buildings green. They asked us what kind of things we'd like on the outside. Did we want trees or bushes? And what color? And that was the level of the consultation, which for us is pretty appalling. Over the last 10 or 15 years or so, the only investments that have been made to this site is this high voltage electric fence used to deter terrorist attack and some screening walls so we don't see what equipment they were using inside here. In September 2012, the facility will be demolished and equipment installed to handle four times the current load in what Singapore Power call an upgrade. This facility is not an upgrade to the existing. It's a new facility, four times as big as the existing, in the front yard of the existing. It's a large-scale industrial and chemical facility in a residential area. Well, we thought these towers would come down in the 1980s, these huge massive pylons which run from here all the way up to Thomastown. They're still here and the place has been rezoned. The residents have no chance of appealing that uh, decision unless we go to the High Court, we go to the Supreme Court, which is for us not possible. So we've been talking to uh, the Premier's office and been sending letters to the Premier and Minister Guy. Over 15 letters from different parties, including the Council's office, has been sent through to the Premier's office. And all along, the residents have followed and kept within the boundaries of the correct process and the legal process. We have really tried to go by the rule book in this situation, and we've been very conscientious in following the guidelines. That's despite the fact that on many occasions we've come up against barriers um, in terms of the process and particularly the most recent decision by Minister Guy. The site's a mess. It's emotional blackmail to say, let us build a new terminal station here, we'll make this better for you. They should make this better already. This is disgusting and it's an embarrassment and an eyesore to the community. There's three really important facts in this situation. The first and the most important fact, a process was followed and was being followed. And in that situation, Moreland Sittle Council refused the permit on two occasions. And that, the reason for that was concern about the resident's safety and the environmental reasons. The second most important fact is that Minister Guy went through, overcame the process that would normally be followed. So there's no right of consultation there is no right of appeal. Residents have to go to the High Court now if they want to overturn this process. And the third and final most important fact about this situation is that the building works for the cabling that connects the city to the BTS terminal happened before Minister Guy's decision was made. Altogether, that indicates that due process wasn't followed in this instance. Unfortunately, the situation is now that most of the residents are faced with uh, looking at action which isn't within the boundaries of the law. 
Um, most of them are hard-working individuals, all of them have full-time jobs, but there may be a situation where they'll have to step outside the law in order to get their voices heard.